Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the School Campus Series. I hope that you all are enjoying this so far, and if you are, please drop a like. Thank you again, guys, for watching. Now let's get this started. Well, hey there, everyone. Again, welcome back to the School Campus Series. As you see, this will be part 12. Now, don't worry. There won't be a whole lot in this video. So what we're going to pretty much do in this video is connect a road up. It's going to start here by the high school bus pickup area. It's going to start right here. It's going to go along the side, go back behind the kickball area, and then connect up where the elementary school is. Also, we're going to be doing a... Uh, maintenance building for the lawnmowers and everything later on in this video but we're gonna start off with this road here so let's go ahead and position ourselves again right here is the high school the bus pickup area is over there here's the bus parking lot so right here we have the road coming off of this main road here alright so where you have this bus parking lot okay I have one two three four five six seven eight nine number ten is going to be this here now you guys don't necessarily have to have yours exactly positioned just as long as it's in the the area that mine is alright so again it's going to be that many blocks from there and the road here is going to be counting this outside block one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen blocks wide all right make sure that it's thirteen wide now what we're gonna do we're gonna come off of this main road here and we're gonna go straight in this direction one thousand two hundred oh, I'm just playing with you we're not even gonna count I got you didn't I uh, we're just going to go straight on down on both sides. So if I fly straight on down here, no counting needed in this because uh, if you look at these black blocks here, ignore the white blocks for now. Just look at the black blocks. So you're going to come way out, okay, here. And then you're probably thinking, well, how far out do I go? Well, I'm going to show you how you're going to square this up. So, again, right here is the kickball area behind the high school, okay? So, you're going to come right here where we have this road coming off the elementary. Where we have this long diagonal type road here. Alright. Now, right in here. This is where you're going to have your road. Now, instead of putting the road right here, I didn't want to do that because this was a lot of work getting all this situated in that turn. I didn't want to screw any of that up. So, I came out this way a little bit. Now, positioning it over here somewhere doesn't really matter exactly which area it is. Just make sure that you have your road the same 13 wide right here and both of these will go straight on down as long as you have it you know a good distance from here going out to the road to here so if you again if you just look at the black blocks here ignore the white ones down here you're just gonna take these two black lines straight on down and then you're just going to simply connect them up like this. Again, just look at the black blocks right here. So, them two black come straight this way. Them two black come straight this way. Alright, now. Now let's look at the white blocks in here. So, when you come to this corner right here. When you get to this corner. You're going to count from here going this way. 18 this will be number 18 right here okay this will be number 18 grab a block that you're going to use to mark things out with all right 
So this would be number 18. So from here to this corner, that's 18 blocks. Okay. Now on this side, from here, going this way, this would be number 18. Alright, now, once you have that 18th block, then you're going to go on this here. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So off this 18th block, you're going to go on this side of it. And again, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? You're going to have these five right here. Now, looking at these white blocks... This would be number 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, because this one here is number 18. Alright. Now you're going to go inwards like this. And you have 3, 3, 2, 2. So off that 5, you have 3, 3, 2, 2. So looking down at it like this, pause it if you need to. Alright, simple enough. Now off of that two, you're going to have two diagonals like this. And you're going to have the same thing on this side. So remember, this is number 18 from that corner. This is 18th block. Okay? And then you're going to go, this is number 19. One, two, three, four, five. So come on the inside here. This 19 from that 18th block. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So you got five here. And you have three, three, two, two, and then these singles. So if I come straight on up like this, you guys can pause it right here if you need to. Get that correct. All right. Now, once you have that, then you could go in here and get rid of these here because this is just temporary come to right here do the same thing on this side again these are just temporary blocks to mark it all out okay come to here now you're gonna keep this white blocks here because that's your template alright now what we're gonna do you're gonna do the inside right here so when you come down all the way from there you will have this black line you'll square it up just like what we've done on the outside here on the inside here, you're going to square this up just like this. And you're going to get to this corner. Okay. Now from here, going this way, you got to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So right here is number 7. Okay. This will be set the 7th block. This will be number 8, 9, 10. Okay. Do you see looking down at it? It's going to be three blocks, two, one, one. The same thing right over here. So if I look down straight at it, simple enough. Right there, pause it if you need to. Alright, now, once you have that, then again, you can get rid of these to here. Just like that. Alright, now off the high school, right over here where we have this road here. Now, this is going to be the same material that you have this road. So, mine is the bedrock. So, whatever material you guys have on this road, you're going to use the same material for this road right over here. Okay? So, what you're going to do, because your road's going to be 13, so if I do this one... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Now if I take this slab here, the slab will go on this side. Just like that. Alright. Same as over here. This black, this black here is just a template. Okay. So the slabs will go on the outside of here. Now, whenever you go to your road right here, don't make the mistake. Come straight out like this. Make sure it's all even. 
coming on across just like this here pretty pretty easy to do it's also easy to mess up if you're not paying attention so again this slab will come straight on like this that way it's level coming from this road and also right here it'll come straight on just like that so pretty much you're gonna carry this on down all the way down to here and wrap it all the way around to here so again your road will be right here like this right on top of this black and then your slabs will go on this side of it like this so I we'll have this coming across it'll come across like this so fill all that in alright so right here as you see this is what it's going to look like now if your grass level is is not going to meet up with it all you gotta do is simply just take it on across and make it meet up with it so just pretty much do this here now it's not very pretty to have things perfectly flat so you're gonna have to do something like this right here did you see how I filled this in it's not all flat and it makes it look alright so you're gonna have to do something like that when you fill in your grass if it doesn't match up perfect that's okay just make it fit alright so again this is what your road should look like with the slabs all the way around it coming from way over there to that main road coming around to this other road here alright now just a little sneak peek right over here this is where the football field is gonna be now whenever I do that football field that is going to be the very last video for this for this uh, school series so when I get to that that'll be the end of this school series alright so once you have all this here then now let's go ahead and come over here and start on this maintenance building all right now with this maintenance building I want to say straight up up front it's going to look nothing fancy okay it's gonna be just a little maintenance building nothing fancy at all okay so let's go ahead and position this real fast so as you see where I'm at off this road here by the balcony between the elementary school area we have this spot here alright now you should know exactly where I'm at if you guys are following along now you see where I have this positioned at you guys don't have to exactly have it perfectly positioned where mine is because it's going to fit little to the left little to the right little further back it's not going to be very big so just somewhere is right around here alright okay now with that out of the way you see I have this here these white blocks and I have the black blocks let's go ahead and count these white blocks here so from here off this road you're gonna have 15 blocks to here this side will also be 15 blocks okay let's count in between so in between here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven blocks in between this fifteen and this fifteen here alright now once you have that then right here on both sides here it's gonna be the same amount so from here going over be one two three four five six seven over here seven as well to here okay again this is nothing fancy at all so coming counting this block here going across this is going to be 31 blocks to this back corner again the other side will be the exact same and then along the back when you square this up you will have 27 blocks from this corner counting that block 
to this corner counting this block okay now once you have that there then you can go ahead and get rid of these markers now up under the markers as you see here I have this concrete well this is the anisite here so right up under those is the actual pavement alright now as you see I textured this because remember this is a maintenance building there's gonna be oil spills and things like that so textured it with some stone blocks and some coal ore alright for oil spills now this here as you see is right on top of the concrete or the anisite whatever you want to call it the pavement the foundation now as you see I have lawnmowers in here now I did do a lawnmower tutorial I've done a few but this particular one this is the high dollar very fancy zero turn lawnmower this is the ones that you know you will see in a commercial uh, area these here cost a lot of money you sit right here yada 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 uh, but yeah uh, I done a tutorial um, on this white one here I'll go ahead and put it down below in the description you guys can check it out put it inside of here now I just swapped out these blocks and made this green one here okay so you guys can pause it right there if you need to just swap out the box and make it different colors now I have one right over here which is an orange one so again swap out the blocks do what you gotta do to make it look a different color if that's what you guys want I also have a villager in here surrounded by barrier blocks that way he can't get out just for looks and right in front of the lawnmower we have some tall grass he hasn't got to it yet I think he ran out of gas but anyway uh, that's that on the lawnmowers well, right now for this maintenance building I want it to be some sort of a white block I didn't want it to match you know the brick that we have already going on because again this is just a maintenance building that's been built after the schools you know so I'm going to use something else to kind of make it stand out. Now I'm going to use some sort of white block. The light gray concrete powder would be good. The white wool. The dorite. And also this block would be good. Any of these blocks would actually be good. I'm going to use this one here. This calcite I guess what you call it. That's what I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do looking straight down like this this is going to be the the driveway going in we're gonna have a garage door right here so we're gonna to come to this corner here we're gonna go up right on top of here one two three four five six so you're gonna do all these corners up by six all right now once you have your four corners up by six then you're just simply going to take these on across and you're going to fill these in with this block all the way around. Alright, now once you have your walls up like this and your front, have this come on across as you see here, going on across to here. You're going to come to here, come straight on up, and this here will also be filled in right there. Also, right over here. You're going to come straight on across and do the same thing. So again, that will be filled in as well. Now right in here, we're going to have a garage door. Alright, now with the garage door, you're going to find your middle point, which mine is going to be right here. Okay? Now your middle point, you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 middle point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, when you find your middle point, which is here, okay, off this wall here, going straight on across, middle point there, going straight on across there, okay. Now, it's always good to find your middle point. 
Go on the back side of it here. Grab a wall of choice. I'm going to grab the in stone brick wall. I'm going to go right here. Put that right there on the middle point. Now once you have that, you're going to have four on this side. Four on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this will be nine with your wall, okay? Now, this wall will come straight on up, just like this, and you're simply going to fill it in your wall. Now, I'm going to actually have mine open a couple blocks, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that if you want to do the same. So this here, come on across just like that. This here, come on across just like that. So you should have two blocks on each side. Extend this on a cross like this. Alright, now, what you're going to do once you have this filled in here, you're going to go on the back side here. Take a different block of choice. The same ones that I told you to choose from. And pick one of those. Come on each side like that. To connect that wall up like this here okay now once you've done that if you want yours open I'm gonna have mine open because I'm gonna have stuff on the inside for people to check out this is what I'm gonna do one two three okay whatever you take out you're gonna have to replace so I'm gonna take three out then I'm gonna go up top here I'm gonna take these slabs the, the same slab material to match that wall. I'm going to place the slab right on top of here. Alright. Now I took three out from the bottom. So I need to come out three from the top. So right here. One, two, three. Now remember. If you took two from the bottom. You're going to add two. If you took three, add three. Four, add four. And so on. That way it looks, you know, that it's open. Alright, now, come on the inside here of this building. You're going to find your middle point. So, right here, as you see, I marked it here. Now, you should have 14 blocks on the left side to here. And you should have 14 blocks on the right side to here. You guys, if you need to, pause the video right here. Now, you should have come down from this middle point here okay now on this wall these are going to be temporary blocks all this will we're just marking something out here okay so you're going to come down on this wall you're going to place three come up one three one three one and you should have two here now do the same thing here three one three one three one two right there so again looking at it like this you guys should get it right there if you need to alright now what we're gonna do right here in the middle you're gonna take the wall of choice I'm gonna use the polished deep slate wall I'm gonna place one right here one right here three blocks apart here as you see here and here on this side as well just like that and now once you have those there positioned just like you have now then you can take out these temporary blocks alright now when you have these here you're simply gonna take these straight on across and connect all these here up against this wall alright now once you have all these across like this here then when you get to here, if you have your door open like I have, grab your slabs. The same slabs these are. So these are the polished deep slate slab. And you're going to simply come right on top of here to connect this right here up. Alright, now let's go ahead and come right in here. Grab yourself a grindstone. And you're going to place it right here okay make sure that you, you have it connected up like this 
Okay. Now once you've got that, then you're going to go ahead and take yourself a dropper. Now you're going to take the dropper and you're going to face it like this. Where the opening is at the bottom. Alright, now once you've got that, then you're going to grab yourself a chain. Make sure it's a chain and not a iron bars. Now you're going to place that chain coming straight down just like this. That way it looks like a cable going into this motor here into that opening and then this is connected up to this wheel here that's got the cable that's going to be coming out of it so you're going to take that chain and place it right there alright now once you've got that then you're going to come down here you're going to take a observer block place here take a lever place on there now that's going to act as activation to work all this to open and close this door again you you guys know I like my detail alright now what I'm gonna do to extend this chain out I'm gonna take out this here and then I'm gonna extend this might as well do the same thing on this side so do this here on both sides alright now once you've got that then right here I'm gonna take the dropper and I'm gonna face it this way like that that way the face of it's like this and then I'm gonna take chain and I'm gonna have it going into there like this well let me get up under here It'll be a little bit easier so that chain will connect on up right there just like that into that motor there and that will be the activation to open and close this door alright now right here on the front grab yourself a black half slab I'm using the granite and you're gonna place these right here above the garage door and as always overhang it by one just like this on each side alright now once you've got that then you're gonna come right over here we're gonna place an iron door so you're gonna count one two three the fourth block you're gonna go ahead and put an iron door right here if you want to go ahead and texture this up like that alright now remember this is just a, a maintenance building so it's gonna be nothing special so back here I'm gonna go ahead and put a back door right here so again one two three the fourth one take this out place that there just like so now come right here back to the front again choose a block that you guys can count with easily come to right here and as you see I have one two three four five blocks going up diagonal like this you can have one block from here like that also the same thing over here so again one two three four five very simple now once you've got that on both sides then grab a dark oak wood stairs now you're gonna place one here one here like that then you're gonna place them right on top of here just like that there you're gonna do the same thing over here we're gonna count these this time so right here will be one two three four five six and seven now you're simply going to overhang all this so this here will overhang the front and you'll do the same thing on the other side as well right over there and this here will go all the way down to the very end and this will also overhang this end as well so you're going to carry both of those straight back just like that then you're going to go ahead and grab your full block dark oak wood planks now these are going to be hard to see so I'm going to get like this okay this here will go straight on across connect that up just like that you're going to do the back side the same way alright and then all this inside of here you're going to fill in with that block so all this you're going to fill in all the way to the back with that 
Now once you have that, then you're going to come to the front and you're going to do the same thing on both sides and also to the back on both sides. You're going to take this stair and I know it's going to be hard to see, but you're going to place the stairs upside down like this here. So you see right here, you're going to place it upside down like this to give it a little bit more shape to it. And again, you're going to do that on both sides. All right, now you see how I have these white stairs? That's how you're going to have these dark oak stairs. Again, I know it was hard to see on this side, but this is how they're going to be. So again, I want to make this easy to follow. So you're going to go right up under here, and you're going to do them like that. All right, now once you have that filled in, it should look like this here. So what you're going to do now, you're going to come in here, take this wall, and you're simply going to fill all this in front and back. All right, now once you have this filled in front and back, then let's go ahead and do some ventilation vents here. So right here, we have the middle. Okay, so again, keep your middle marker here. You're going to come straight on up one block from the top, knock this block out. Now, depending on the texture pack you're using, I'm going to use the pink stained glass full blocks. I'm going to place three of them in there. This is what they look like. Now, if you don't have this block or if you don't like it, you can always just put iron bars in here. That works just as good. So you're going to do this here on the front and back the same spot one block from here well, alright now on the inside here you got to remember what this is it's a maintenance building nothing special this is where some old men are going to be sweating away working on their lawn mowers and things like that so let's start right over here we have a couple lawnmower tires we have some shelving with a toolbox Guys, do whatever you want inside of here. Use the imagination. So here we have a workstation. The lawnmower is sitting over here. Toolboxes, shelving in the back. This here is where they'll take breaks, so they gotta have spot to sit down and eat. Also, we have a microwave over here. We have a towel hanging off there, which looks nice and greasy. We have a sink here where they can wash the parts and then wash their hands. Magazines, toolboxes, and just a few things here and there. You guys use imagination. Also, I use the lanterns, as you see here. So, as you see, I have them going down in a straight line. I have four along that side. I have a pillar or this here this wall in between each one the same thing as this side and then along the middle here so this is the middle and it goes along the middle to the back so again guys remember what this is keep it simple all right now that's pretty much it for that maintenance building and yes it's more like a shed but that's how they are in real life now let's go ahead and come right over here and take a look at what I just put in so as you see here I have three pavilions I'm gonna go over these really quick you guys are gonna have to pause the video if you want to build it exactly like mine okay so this is where it's at right around this area you don't have to really have to have it exactly like mine just around this area is fine so the bottom here I have textured slabs, stone slab, anisite slab, and from here to this end here is going to be, corner to corner, is going to be 30 blocks with that slab. Now these slabs, 30 blocks long, will also be the same for this roof. So right here to right here will be the same length, so 30 for that. Now, front of the pavilion here, counting this corner going across, 
it's going to be 13 blocks to this corner. That's going to be the actual base of it there, as you see. And then I went in with stone blocks, stone brick blocks right here. Like you see there off that corner. And right here, I came up five tall with a wall of choice. So this one here is the fifth one up. All those is five tall. Now, from counting this one here, so this one to this one right here, this one is going to be nine blocks, nine blocks wide. All right. Now, looking at it like this, this is how it looks. I have this wall going all the way down all the way around it pretty much I have a stone or anisite wall here on the corners as you see all the way around I have iron bars here and I just lost that light I have a light a lantern coming off of that there as you see one block from here and you guys can pause the video right here if you need the layout of the arched roof there, the pointed roof. I have a slab here. I use the jungle wood slabs. You guys use whatever. So slab, slab, and then I have stair. So over here again, slab, slab, then stair. So I have one, two, three, four stairs going up and a slab on top. I use the oak planks inside of here. I think it looks good together on that and then some garbage cans and things in here like this now up under here looks a little bit tricky but it's really easy I went ahead and put fencing all the way down like this on each side I got the lights in here as well and as you see I have stairs going up with slabs like this for the uh, structure of the building going across all you guys got to do is uh, space them apart find the middle point which is right here these two blocks and then just come out from there and then get your fence and go all the way down as you see here so you guys can pause the video right here if you need to all right now with the uh, tables the picnic table or the chairs whatever you want to call this here I use the smooth quartz slab and there are one two three four five six seven eight blocks here As you see right here I put the stair like this and then the slab on top it's like down here the same I have these trap doors the iron trap doors up top three wide here and going across like this and right in here I have the stair even with these two stairs one block apart with a full block of quartz and then the trap door like this so looking at it like this this is what you're gonna have pretty self-explanatory and then right here I have one two three four five six blocks from there from each other that's pretty much it for this area and that's pretty much it for this video now all through here I just put trees and yes I do like my custom trees guys try to do some custom trees out here uh, more you do it the better you get now the next video part 13 we will be doing the layout of the middle school which will be way out that way in that direction but yeah guys that'll be pretty much it for this part 12 I hope that you all are enjoying this so far and if you are please drop a like guys and let me know what you think so far of it and I'll see you all next time